Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to go over AT&T's fiscal year 2022 fourth quarter earnings results as it relates to its dividend. So I'm going to look at its results and see if it makes its dividend safer, if it puts its dividend under um, risk, or if it's neutral to its dividend. Because I know a lot of investors are attracted to AT&T's stock because of its robust dividend yield. So let's get right into it. So Overall, revenue increased by 0.8% in the fourth quarter to $31.3 billion. Adjusted earnings per share of $0.61 cents was up from $0.56 cents in the fourth quarter of 20, uh, 2021. Postpaid phone net additions of 656000 was surprising. Uh, AT&T operates in a mature wireless industry where there isn't very many new customers coming into the industry. So the fact that it was able to add 656,000 uh, customers was impressive. Uh, the total fiber net additions of 416,000, this is home internet, so this was also solid. And then it achieved more than $5 billion of the planned $6 billion in cost savings. So the customer additions combined with the cost savings was really good for the company free cash flow of 6.1 billion this was after investing 4.7 billion dollars building out the network extending out its 5g capabilities it still was left with 6.1 billion dollars in free cash flow that's really good news for dividend stock investors Finally, AT&T's management is forecasting wireless service revenue growth of at least 4% in fiscal 2023 and broadband of at least 5%. So really good growth for AT&T. Remember, this is not a company that's expected to grow very rapidly. So mid-single digit growths would be really good for dividend stock investors in AT&T. And finally, adjusted earnings per share expected at $2.40 at the midpoint for 2023. So overall, Really good quarter for AT&T investors, especially investors in AT&T for the dividend. The dividend, the fourth quarter, AT&T's fourth quarter supports its dividend. So its dividend is further supported with this quarter with the increase in free cash flow with the really good growth expectations for 2023 overall this is all really good going into this quarter i was a little bit concerned with subscriber growth customer growth because t-mobile has been offering lower prices in an attempt to attract more subscribers more customers and to see that at&t was able to add a net subscriber total add to its total customers that was really impressive. That was a relief in terms of one of the major risks facing AT&T dividend investors. So overall, excellent quarter for AT&T. It does support the dividend, so the dividend is a bit more safer now than it was before the fourth quarter. So AT&T stock investors have a lot to be happy about. All right, I'll be doing a deeper analysis of AT&T's fourth quarter earnings in other videos, but that's all I've got for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now.